In 540 CE, Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian I had great ambition of regaining Western Roman territories. His goal was to restore the Eastern Roman Empire to what it was before the Roman Empire dissolved. However, just a year later, Justinian would struggle to keep his empire afloat. The question now is, what happened? The plague of Justinian originated from China or India and would make its way to North Africa via land and sea trading. The main carrier of the plague were black rats or fleas. The black rats would often find themselves in grain crates or ships heading for African Mediterranean cities such as Pelusium, Egypt. From there, it would be a short trip before the rats reached Constantinople, capital of the Eastern Roman Empire. The rats would spread using military supply lines or other trading routes, and before long, people were dropping dead on the streets. The cause of the plague of Justinian was Yersinia pestis, the same bacteria that later caused the Black Death. Those infected by Yersinia pestis suffered from chronic pain, fever, headache, chills, abdominal pains, and swollen limp nodes. Other side effects include delusions, nightmares, and comas. The plague could also kill you within 24 hours of infecting you, so safe to say it wasn't a pleasant experience. Those infected by the plague had three options, home remedies, treatment from medical practitioners, and hospital quarantine. Those who sought home remedies relied on things such as cold water baths, blessed powders, magical rings and amulet, and various drugs. None of those remedies would actually help in treating the plague. Those who sought medical practitioner were treated by medical professionals sent from Alexandria. These practitioners were the leading physician at the time, but it's unclear if they were able to treat the plague. Besides, you had to live in an era with quick access to these practitioners and also be rich enough to get treatment. Lastly, if the two options before you failed, you had to a hospital to be quarantined. If you die, you die. And if you live, you're praised with good fortune, strong health, and an uncompromised immune system. By the end of the plague, 25 to 50 million people have died, or roughly 13 to 25 percent of the global population. In Constantinople, nearly 40 percent of the people died. No one was safe from the plague. Even Emperor Justinian had the plague at one point as well. A lot of farmers and soldiers died during the plague, weakening the Eastern Roman Empire. Emperor Justinian had to enlist the help of soldiers to clean up the bodies on the street of Constantinople. Mass graves were dug for the deceased. Emperor Justinian, dissatisfied with the lack of progress and the deteriorating state of his empire, decided to raise taxes. He would also raise tax for those who died, forcing the relatives or neighbors to compensate for them. Needless to say, this made those already suffering, suffer even more. The plague of Justinian was a major event that isn't brought up as much as it should be. It serves as a preview to what the bubonic plague can do. It showed how without proper prevention and treatment, the lives of millions can be lost within a year. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.